We also have new local reaction tonight on the former president's historic arraignment. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish continues our breaking news coverage now. Those we spoke with on either side of the political aisle agreed on one thing. Everyone must follow the law, but disagreed over the way this case is being handled. A small rally in Warwick Tuesday showing support for Donald Trump on the day he was arraigned in New York on 34 felony counts. Former Bristol County Sheriff Tom Hodgson, who was honorary chair of Trump's Massachusetts re-election campaign in 2020, says he's supporting Trump again in 2024. Clearly, I don't think anybody in America thinks this is anything but a politically driven uh, attack on the president. He's running again. Everybody knows it. He's up in the polls in the Republican side. The former sheriff said everybody should be held accountable to the law. If there are issues there, whatever those issues are, they'll come up and everybody should be held accountable. The problem is that the justice system isn't being applied in that regard. All these other things, I mean, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, all these things that are just complete hypocrisies and double standards in our justice system, I think are what really this case is about. Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed said the indictment contained troubling accusations against the former president. The grand jury, I think, had sufficient evidence to indict, but an indictment is not a conviction. And we should understand that. Senator Reid said the conduct of both Trump and the prosecution appeared respectful at the arraignment, and he hopes it remains that way. The, the case will be decided in the court, not on the streets. It won't be an exercise in violence and intimidation. It'll be an exercise in justice. And if we all follow that, including many of my colleagues in the Congress and elsewhere, then this country will be better off. It's important to note that the indictment or a possible conviction would not prevent Trump from running for or winning the presidency in 2024. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.